everyone, this is Highlander from MTG Cardsmith doing another custom Magic the Gathering card review. And today we're looking at a card by a new Cardsmith, Mila. I think that's how you. By the way, if I <clears throat> if I pronounce anybody's name wrong, uh, please just let me know so that I can get it right the next time. I'm gonna say Mila. It's M I L A could be Mila, I don't know, but I think Mila's correct. So, I'm going with that. <clears throat> so, let's hear let's see what we got here. This is so these are kind of standalone cards. These aren't any uh part of like a set or anything like that. We have Lettered Swordmaster. All right. One and two white, very nice art. I like this a lot. For a 3/3, three, three. so we got a 3 mana 3/3 three, three for rare, okay. Knight, whenever you cast a historic spell, choose first strike, vigilance, indestructible or lifelink. Lettered Swords Lettered Swordmaster gains that ability until end of turn. <clears throat> I studied relics, artifacts, and legends for my whole life. You think that was for nothing when it comes to battle? I think you're wrong. Slash to the face. All right, cool. Um, so first thing I have to do is, I mean, okay, I don't exactly know what it means to be a it means to be a lettered Swordmaster. I I guess it means you're learned let's see let's define lettered and there you go formally educated nice we're learning things guys we're learning things okay cool um okay so yeah we got some flavor there uh neat okay so whenever you cast a historic spell Choose first strike, vigilance, indestructible, or lifelink. Letter sword smith, sword master gains that ability until end of turn. Okay, um, cool. I like this card. There's there's very little wrong with it. So I'm gonna go into nitpick mode. Uh, so let let's see. Uh, so I like the cost and the power and toughness seem correct. I mean this is <clears throat> this is a pretty like basic card and there's nothing wrong with that of course i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that it's sort of just like a basic beater um so okay you cast a historic spell and then you get to choose from these abilities now to me if if you're asking me here here's here's an issue i have with this uh this particular design is i think the indestructible probably shouldn't be there um and the reason is that it makes the first strike basically completely pointless because if you have indestructible, it's just first strike but better, essentially, right? I mean, the whole point of first strike is that you can attack past things that, that would normally trade with you. Um, and in this case, you can't use it defensively, right? Uh, but even in, even in that setting, indestructible does exactly the same thing, right? It lets you attack through past things you would normally trade with. Um so yeah, I, I I I don't really like the indestructible being here. I would much rather it just be first strike, vigilance, or lifelink. Um, because then you're actually looking at a choice, right? It's like the okay, well the the well it's it, it's less of a choice and more of a toolkit, right? So it's like okay, well if you're in a situation where this thing would you know they have let's say their own three three on the board, you just choose first strike, right? And you you bash in, and then they can't block it. <clears throat> if uh. If you can attack, but you, you know, you're kind of um, on the back foot, you can choose your, you know, you can, well, you would probably choose lifelink in that case. That's the other thing too, is vigilance and lifelink are like fairly similar. Like these two are fairly similar and these two are fairly similar, right? These are both sort of offensive abilities, at least in this context. And these are both sort of defensive abilities in this context, right? Because it's like, well... I mean, there's slight differences here, right? Like if you if if you give it vigilance, it can attack and still be back to block like a really big thing. So something that would be uh something that would be dealing more damage to you than three or however much you know power this has. But the thing is in that case you're probably not attacking through anyway, right? Like you're you're probably not gonna be able to make use of this vigilance. And in situations where, like, you you want to sort of, like, you're racing, right? That's that's sort of the situation where you'd use either of these. The lifelink is, I mean, it's it, they're they're just so similar, right? There's going to be like very specific circumstances where you'd want one or the other. 
And I feel like most of the time you would probably choose Vigilance. No, not always. I mean, I don't know. Again, it depends on the circumstance. So the, I guess I, I, I'm not, I'm not like as down on this as I am First Strike and Indestructible, but they are still f quite similar abilities. So I... I would prefer that this didn't have the indestructible clause at all um, and just had first strike, vigilance, lifelink, or maybe you could choose another keyword, uh, but you've kind of gone through most of the white keywords. I mean, there's double strike, but you obviously don't want first strike and double strike on there. And there's um, flying, but that, you know, that sort of kills the first strike there. So, um so yeah, I think first strike vigilance lifelink would 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 be uh, be good. The other possibility you could do, and this is something that that White um, has done in the past, is you can say something like, whenever you cast a historic creature spell, um, if that creature has or no no, no so let, let's let, let's rephrase this. Whenever another so whenever a historic creature enters the battlefield. If it has first strike, Lendered Swordmaster gains first strike. The same is true for Vigilance, Indestructible, Flying, Lifelink, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that, that's that's one route you could go where it's like it depends on the spell you're casting, uh, which, you know, that would determine which ability you get. Um, that's probably a slightly little... It, it makes this card a little bit more build around because, like, you want historic creatures with uh particular abilities it also means you can get multiples um like for example if you play uh danitha capuchin who she's got first strike and lifelink so you kind of get the multiples there um and you know it gives you the opportunity to sometimes get like double strike or or, or whatever right um so there's a trade-off there it's just a sort of a different design this design is completely fine by the way i'm not saying you need to go this route that route it's just sort of something that you know, came came to my mind. It 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 feels a little bit more flavorful to me that way too, because so the, the idea being that she studies these things. Um and so like based on the historic creature that you I, I know this is historic spell, so and I guess in the other case it would only be historic creatures, but you know, it, it's sort of like, you know, oh look, I know I know about this historic creature, so I I can emulate it. Um, and in this case, the, I mean, the flavor's there as far as like, you know, she's lure, she, she knows about the past, she knows about history and that history helps her fight, uh, or the things she learns about, you know, past legends or whatever helps her, helps her fight. Right. Um, uh, which is, which is totally fine. Uh, but there's not much flavor beyond that point. Um, just in the sense that like. You know why? Why does she get to choose these abilities when you cast a historic spell? I mean, again, that's that's not. I'm, I'm really nitpicking here. I'm not. I'm not really coming down too hard on this card. It's just when this is a, like a perfectly, fu perfectly fine magic card. There's not very little wrong with it, other than that indestructible thing. So I, I kind of got to go in a little little nitpick mode here. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I hope that made sense. What I said. Um, yeah, so I think I think really my only issue with this card is the indestructible. I think I think that that's just going to overshadow. Like I think most of the time when you cat when you act, trigger this ability, you're going to pick indestructible and you're just going to attack in, right? Um, you know, it, it's just so much better than the other abilities in like most situations. There are some situations where it's not, but it's just so much better that I feel like. It, this card would would do better without it so um so yeah that's my review of letter oh i have to give it a grade what am i what am i doing great formatting by the way great art uh love love it love this card i'm gonna give it a nice four out of five and the only reason it doesn't get five out of five is because it, it's not super novel it's a very um sort of a very basic design which is there's nothing wrong with that i love simple designs i love basic designs um but you know they don't they don't wow the person who's looking at them right so yeah a, a very nice card four out of five uh let's uh let's see what else mila has got thank you guys for watching